running backs. On first down, the first pass is aimed at the... Almost had 100 yards against Ohio State. That would have been the first since 08. The guy can run. There is Damian Barry, his first carry of the night. Big guys up front. Barry hit the backfield. Stretching and... Harris. Completion to his man out of the backfield and again for someone else to fill those shoes. Harris. The Travis Benjamin of the year. Sheard will have to step up tonight. Barry. Little bit of run coordinator as Kane's in a quick tempo. Harris. Up top. Got a man out there. It's Benjamin. He's got it deep. Damian Barry's in the backfield. First and goal for the Hurricanes. Billy, as you said, Jesse, setting them back some. Snaps on the ground. Chorus. Corey Harris is hit. Second and goal. Barry in the backfield, along with Patrick Hill. Barry has it. Barry's hit in the backfield, and he is crunched again. He won't. Freshman Chantrell Henderson is in. They'll run it behind him, and it's a touchdown for the Hurricanes. Damian Barry's in. You know the night for the Hurricanes. They marched right down the field and scored the first time. On the ground, William Barry <laughs> scored the touchdown. A headlock Saturday. <laughs> Harris to Barry. And get up and get calls made before the snap. Harris. LaRon Bird. Bird's going to. We got a shot of Phil Bennett, the man charged with trying to slow this hurricane offense down. And Barry in the backfield for a moment. And right side is Miami has. Extra lineman up. Harris throwing deep again. Benjamin's out there, and DeSico goes for the interception. Hurricanes. One touchdown, one turnover, and Lamar Miller checked in the backfield. Harris puts it right on. Here is Harris. No blitz coming. Throws it again. Can, the more he grasps, put in more. Now keep it on the ground with Miller. The play calling. Please keep it going. You see what ha Whipple has on the play sheet now. Showing pressure. Pittsburgh looked to be in the neutral zone. It might not matter. Miller looking in seven now. Harris delivering in to traffic. Now the crowd rising up on a third down. Hurricanes. Again, looking for Bird, and that has become a secure. The Hurricanes will start from the 27. A little trickery. Second down and 16. Corey Harris sheared, got through there. He dumped it to the back and not a third and 15. Pittsburgh defense. You get their offense another chance. Sheard's in the backfield, and down goes Harris. Yeah. <laughs> Call the ball play, it'll work. <laughs> First down for the Hurricanes. It's home for both of them. And second down. Barry will get the carry. And third down and four. The Hurricanes two of four on third down tonight. Corey Harris has his tight end for the first down. Good seven with a pick until that third down conversion. On the inside, Benjamin. Trying to shake a tackle. He has yet to complete a pass to Hankerson. Right on. Florida State really got into a nice rhythm. He can be deadly accurate. And so Sheard putting on the pressure. Directing traffic and throwing in. Defensive line at Pitt. Hands on hips. That toes oh, that's going to be a oh, yeah. catch. That's a good catch. That's a catch, and he finished it, too, as you have to do when you go out of bounds. The ball can't come loose. It did not appear to. You know, the other thing with Ja'Cory Harris and some of the problems he had with interceptions last year, the latter part of the season, a thumb injury that really kept him from gripping the ball properly, and it, it, it even hampered him all the way through the spring into the summer. And uh, starting to get the feel again. He's throwing a pick here tonight, but uh, that was one of the things that contributed to those 17 interceptions last year. But offensive coordinator Mark Whipple says that Ja'Cory Harris has great football IQ. Move the chains. On first down. Barry finds a little crease, and he gets it. Second and short, stretch. Barry looking for the seam, he finds it. First down. 
Harris was looking. I'm Jesse Palmer and Jen Brown. Glad to have you with us from Pittsburgh. Ja'Cory Harris. A lot of time. Now Ja'Cory who's not in fence. Showing some, showing some pressure. Flags flying. A quick throw up to LaRon Bird who actually made a nice. 11 plays, 77 yards so far. Barry. Inside the 10. Four Hurricanes can get a first down without scoring a touchdown. Well, tonight so far. Harris with receivers spread everywhere. Over the middle. It's knocked away. Nine. Harris. Plenty of time. Throwing into traffic. The 10 nothing lead. Lamar Miller in the backfield with Ja'Cory Harris. Now Ja'Cory's going to take a shot. Benjamin's out there. And that ball, what a spectacular face of Randy Shannon. And the ball is marked on the 49-yard line. And Ja'Cory Harris, his first pass in the second half. He's got a wide over the field with no pit defenders. Harris to throw. Say Phil Bennett needs to dial up here pretty soon. On the ground. Miller. Picking his. And Miller's in the backfield. Pittsburgh needs to be good here. Harris throwing to the end zone. Man out there. He's got it for. Touchdown pass to Leonard Hankerson. Now the Canes have it for the second time in the third. Had to do before this thing gets out of hand. Corey Harris dumps it off nicely to avoid the rush. Richard Gordon stays on his. Without Greg Romance, they're entirely different. Corey Harris on third down. Bird has the catch. He's Texas. Not sure Longhorn fans like that. <laughs> At least for the time being. Short, significant injury to his leg. Panthers defense is getting thin in a hurry. Harris complete. Handle. On first down. Barry. Big East right now. As you see, he's struggled at times as well. And this time, Damian Barry's not going to have any. CS bid. Up for grabs from that group. Third down. Harris takes a deep shot with Benjamin. Con is back on the field right now, but he, he was testing that leg. And they may throw at him right here. They do, and it's complete. 67%. 10 yards per completion. Miller gets the carry. And short. Harris on second down, getting a little heat, and Sheard's got him. The standout running back for the U in the 80s comes in, playing it safe, hands it off to Lamar Miller, and Pittsburgh passes did throw an interception. After that interception, Ja'Cory Harris said, don't worry, I went through 17 of them last year. Bosher. Right, Sadler back to the 40, and he put it on the ground, and the Hurricanes have it. And Harris coming out to try to finished the game he missed the handoff and now high level knew what to expect from them Harris favoring that arm but it is his non-throwing arm give to Barry he slipped the tackle and there he goes Damian Barry's inside the 20 still on his Sadler he is the one who couldn't handle the punt we head toward 11 minutes to go Harris Got a man. Touchdown, Travis Benjamin. Back out onto the field. Get to the question after this play. Damian Barry with a short. Started 22. Miami content to bleed the clock. And this is from Ray Graham. They were going to be something. On third down, Corey Harris. Another helmet comes off. Benjamin. Fine receiver like that. No effort. You have to assume he just never saw it. So Miami now, coach, what's you know what's the deal? The other coaches are telling me you're not going to be there, so that put a lot of that to bed. The Hurricanes on the verge of putting Pittsburgh to bed tonight. I think so many people looked at that Ohio State game as being so important. The Canes keep it on the ground again, and Miller is going to get it inside the. Five. Oh, it's, it's a tough standard to live up to. Miller has it again, picking his way toward the goal line. That extra tackle on the field that Jesse was talking about. Henderson's back in. He'll run it away from Henderson. Will 